Please check out the link in the description below because this links to a larger document which talks about the details of everything I'm going to be mentioning in this video. It links in some readings and it also gives ways that you can get involved with the Black Lives Matter movement. You can sign petitions and donate. Get your voice to be heard. I just wanted to talk about what's going on in the US at the moment with the whole systemic discrimination, riots, protests, and the culmination of many events that have led up to this. It really breaks my heart that we're living in some so-called progressive society, but discrimination is at the root of every society. It's been 50 years since the civil rights movement in the US, but if you can compare the pictures of what's going on today in the streets and 50 years ago, it's basically the same. Progress has not been made. It's just extremely unfair that your destiny is determined by the color of your skin. Silence is compliance. It is violence. It is allowing this systemic discrimination to continue. Roughly 60% of the world has access to social media. You can use your platforms, your voice, to educate people, to make change, because together we are strong. And I really just want to talk about this. So as you probably already know, on May 25th, 2020, George Floyd was murdered in Minneapolis. The police were called to the scene of a grocery store where someone had accused George Floyd of trying to use a counterfeit $20 bill. Derek Chauvin and three other police officers were at the scene and they pinned Floyd down in the prone position. Chauvin held Floyd in the prone position for 8 minutes and 46 seconds while keeping his knee on Floyd's neck, applying extreme pressure. For 2 minutes and 53 seconds at the very end, Floyd was unresponsive but during the time he was responsive, it was caught on camera that he was yelling out that he couldn't breathe. He was yelling out to his parents for help. Chauvin did not remove his knee from Floyd's neck and this later resulted in Floyd's death. The video of this event went viral and people are calling this the catalyst of the movement. People do not want to add George Floyd's name to the list of people who were murdered by the police. They want to make it the face of the movement today. Riots in Minneapolis broke out immediately. The police building was burnt down and protesters were in the street demanding change, demanding justice. Chauvin was only convicted of third degree murder while the other police officers who were at the scene were not convicted of anything. In my opinion, this is not just at all. To read up what I think of the situation, please go to the link where I explain my entire opinion. I'm trying to keep this video just fact from conjecture. The protests are the culmination of systemic racism prevalent in the US since the 1600s. America is built on the foundation of slavery. In the 1600s, slavery began in the US, and then in the 1850s, the Civil War broke out. This resulted in the abolishment of slavery, which was previously legalized. However, the laws were not up held because it's important to note that laws are only powerful when the will of society backs them up and there was still a very discriminatory mindset in the USA it's still prevalent today in the south of the US after the Civil War white supremacist groups started to emerge we can see the KKK as a very dangerous example following the Civil War discrimination was still greatly prevalent society was segregated people of color were not allowed to use the same facilities as white people they were not allowed to attend the same schools they couldn't even live in the same town for some states and then finally in the 1960s the the civil rights movement occurred, with many momentous events which I have detailed here in the same document. The civil rights movement was seen as the pinnacle of equality in the US. It banned discrimination and it enforced equality in the eye of the law. It enforced equality in society. However, systemic racism and institutionalized discrimination are still greatly prevalent in the US. And some people say it's because slavery still has a lingering effect. Racism is perpetuated at so many different levels of society. It's perpetuated in the government, at the state level, and in everyday social lives. Black people consist of 13% of the US society. However, they make up 40% of prison inmates and they only make up roughly 2% of the wealth distribution. Black people are not given the same playing field and this is what the Black Lives Matter movement is trying to fix. It's trying to fight for equality, equality that has not existed ever. African Americans are two times more likely to be unemployed than white people. African American students are three times more likely to be suspended for the same infraction as a white student. They're more likely to be pulled over while driving. Generally speaking, African Americans are more likely to get convicted for a longer period of time for the same crime. They're more likely to get even convicted in the first place. If this does not demonstrate institutionalized racism, then I don't know what does. We can even see a completely egregious example of this by this one tweet put out by a white man in the US. He allegedly was trying to use a $20 counterfeit bill. The same thing that George Floyd did. However, George Floyd's punishment was murder. This is exactly what the problem is. African American people face bias, prejudice, and discrimination, racism on a daily basis. We need to fight this, and that's what the Black Lives Matter movement is trying to do. It's trying to bring black people up to the same standard of living, standard of education, standard of wealth, standard of opportunity as white people in America. Forgive me if this is just my liberal side speaking out. We have a moral obligation to seek justice. 
and you have to get involved and help those who need it. We definitely need to take a stand. Even if you're not in the US, you have to try and help out. You have to sign petitions, which are linked in the document. You have to donate, which are also linked to the document. You have to inform yourself, inform your friends, your family, your colleagues. You have to try and get this message out that society does not stand for discrimination any longer. We have to change the mindset, the norms of society. And this is not an easy task. It's going to be a very uphill battle, but it's a battle worth fighting and we need to take a stand. I've tried to separate my own opinions from facts in this video and I really hope that you've learned something from it. I really hope that you're now going to try and make a difference and make a change. You're going to use your voice, use your platform to speak out because united we are strong. I really thank you for watching to the end of the video and I really hope that you're going to try and make a difference by sharing this video, sharing anything else, putting your name into a petition or donating money. We need justice because without justice there is no peace.